because I think some people watching right now are discouraged. Uh, they, they're, they're, they've been having this goal for two, three, four years, mm -hmm. um, and they're not seeing improvement. And I mm -hmm. think it's because they don't have healthy habits. Yeah, yeah. I like that you said seeing. That's a big, you actually yeah, emphasized seeing. <laughs> seeing. It's a big piece of it. So, so here's what I will say. I don't think anybody has a, a shortage of information of what they're supposed to do. Mm. Right, they don't. Mm. And what that they're trying to do is the things that feel in character, comfortable, right? So let's go kind of tag that on, but bring it back to this moment here. So okay. the what people are trying to do is they're trying to do the things that look like what they should be doing. But for some reason, the efforts they're spent and they, they get burned out, but then they feel broken and they are still broke, right? Yeah. So I go, what, what's the problem? And this is what I noticed. Seeing is the big piece. Most of us, we have this uh, this issue, I find it's, it's a statement I love and it goes, it's hard to see the label when you're inside the jar. So, so people are sitting back before we even choose the habits, right? People are choosing the wrong habits. So I can rattle off some great ones, right? We can say it's going to be good to have uh, uh, someone's an accountant helps with your books, you know, make sure the 10% 10, 10 immediately goes to savings. We can rattle all the habits off. People know them. But here's the issue. There's something on somebody's label that says you're an impulsive spender. Um, you have a personal issue internally where you're trying to cover up your your lack of confidence with nice new shoes and a belt, right? And so these are things that nobody sees as the label outside. And so one of the first habits I'm real big on is you have to have people that allow you to see that label. Like someone that's outside looking at the jar that you let, you respect enough to let you hear what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. That's one of the most important habits. And have somebody you meet with consistently that can talk to you and tell you something that that pokes a little bit at the ego. It's a big piece at the ego, right? Let that thing subside. And then when they tell you something, as opposed to getting mad and saying you're a hater, you don't support me, maybe you actually take it as possibly good advice. Yeah. And that that simple habit, like my wife's this person for me. I, I bought like one time a bacon maker. She's like, why'd you buy a bacon maker? Because it was like three in the morning. And I don't know. I was up in the middle of the night. I saw a bacon maker. Like these little moments, but like she'll poke me. And sometimes wow. she's 100% right. My ego doesn't like it, but she's right. 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 But that's that. That's one of a couple people that I let have conversations in that manner. And so while we talk about a habit of actions, if you don't have a habit of seeing what you need to work on, nothing that you will do will be worthwhile. It's kind of like metaphorically, me and you have these two cars trying to get to a destination, right? Your car has a flat tire, steering wheels missing, and you know, you have no windshield, right? My car, maybe I got bad brakes, maybe I have, uh, you know, something wrong with my, I have no gas, right? Well, a lot of people are looking over at Anthony and going, man, I got to fix my, my tires. I got to go ahead mm. and get a new steering wheel and I got to put a windshield. That's what Anthony's doing. You can yeah. do all that stuff, but if you don't yeah. put gas to your car, and work on your brakes, like you ain't going anywhere. So right. another part of it is a habit of seeing what your stuff is you must work on to be able to fix your vehicle to get where you want. You know, I, those two are so crucial. And, and I really want to make sure that none of you all skipped over this and it didn't go in one ear and out the next. So the very first one is have an accountability partner, AKA a mentor, yeah. AKA someone who will speak directly into your life. And I remember one of my mentors, Anthony, I told him, I said, man, my desire, my goal is to get married. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, cool. If you want to get married, uh, you need to stop being selfish. Mm -hmm. That was a slap in my face. That hit me so hard. He didn't say, Anthony, you're successful. You're out of debt. You're wealthy. You look good. You got this. He said, all right, cool. You want to get married? <laughs> Here's something you can't see on the inside that I see on the outside. You're selfish. You 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 have this this when you get off of work, you don't want to call. You don't you don't want to communicate. You don't want to do this. So if you want to get married, a wife is going to want time. A wife is going to want you to sacrifice and when you don't feel like doing things, you're going to need to do it. And that hit me hard, bro. And I had to be like Okay. Like I got you. And so I literally started forcing myself to even go around my family more, forcing myself to go around friends more because I don't want to wait until I get a woman to practice giving more of my time. I had to put it into practice now. But if I would not have had someone on the outside, like you said, telling me about myself in a loving and a straightforward way because I was on the inside, I couldn't see the outside label of the jar. Yeah, it's big. And and, it, and, and, and oh, it's tough. It's and the thing is, is we that we have to have the capacity to hear that, right? Yeah. You have to that. This is all like that. I, I call it a, a, 
expanding capacity. It's actually a skill I think we have to develop in all, all areas of life. If you don't have the skill to do it, I tell you have to do it on demand. You have to expand on demand, not when crap hits the fan. Right, because you you could show up to the to the, the relationship, and all of a sudden it's about to break, and now I choose to expand. But like, if you could do it like you're saying, I do it on demand. You beautifully just stated it. I go around people to practice that to expand my capacity to still build the business, still feed the hustle monster. But then I'm also also feeding what needs to be given for time, so that when I show up and that person enters my life, I have that capacity on demand. I did it when I wanted to. That's where I think people aren't choosing to develop the skill set of like. How do I do it to have the capacity before I need it? Yeah, yeah, no, that as <sighs> man, I, and, and I'm, I'm sitting back thinking because I'm curious for yourself, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm now, I'm just flowing with you on this conversation. It's not even the questions that you and I even talked about, uh, but I think one of the reasons, one of the things I'm real big on is. My mentor, mentor told, told me about myself, myself right? But then he also told me, hey, there are some other things that I can't help you with that you need to go to therapy. Mm-hmm. So they can go deeper into yeah. you inside. Because mm-hmm. on the outside, I see that you you have this issue, but I don't know where the root of that issue is coming from. Mm-hmm. Do you believe therapy is important to, uh, to start hitting some of your goals, whether it's life goals, marriage goals? Yeah. Um, do you think from your expertise, from your seat, that therapy is important? 100%. And, and I'm dead serious, 100%. I'm not saying that because you said it. Uh, I I don't like to be like, oh, the host said yes. Yeah. So I'm saying, yeah, I'm dead serious. And and here's one of the most important reasons why I look at uh, when I played football, right? And this was, people don't get it. The reason I think a lot of athletes fail when they leave the game is because what we were good at doing is showing up and doing work. I can show up. I'm going to lift the weights, run the routes. But I got somebody telling me my schedule every day for the year. I guess someone telling me what's happening to the hour, what's happening in practice, here's the playbook. I just have to show up and work. And as humans, when it's laid out, I mean, it's easy to do that. That's why people like hiring a trainer. Because if I got a trainer, when I go to the gym, I can turn the brain off and work as opposed to walking in and going, what do I do today, right? Hmm. So a therapist does it, says, look, you're good at doing the work, great. Let me show you what to work on. Ooh. They let you take the brain away a little bit because they poke around and figure it out. And they say, here's your, here's your game plan for life. Stop doing this, start doing this, right? And so you can just show up and I can now flow into life. And oddly, it becomes this thing where identity, again, it's who you are. We're not thinking about who you are. What you consistently do intentionally in the beginning now becomes what you almost accidentally do. It's it's effortless effort, right? So like even your story, if you think about like you progressed through where you were broke almost, you're just figuring things out. I think you're in a really dark place, right? But then you started doing things that I'm sure now are like, oh, I do that every day. And someone else was going, how do you do that? Well, you just progressed and it became the second nature thing because you intentionally did it at first. And now here's the beautiful thing. When it becomes just who you are to do that thing, it's, it's almost like where it was hard to do it at first. It's hard not to do it. Yeah. That's a beautiful space to slide into. And so therapy is big because it'll tell you what to do. Hey, here's our game plan. It's hard at first. I got to do that. I got to apologize. I got to wear all these things. And eventually you just do it. And now what happens is if you go to bed at night, having not done that, it eats at your soul. You're out of alignment. Mm. Whereas before you were fighting yourself to get it done. So when that action is getting done, that'll change your life. And it's easier versus harder. Who do you think wins in the long run? Wow. Man, I'm glad you said that uh, because you're right. I'm good at, I can run the play. If you give me the playbook, I'm going to learn the playbook mm-hmm. and I'm going to eventually master that playbook and I'm going to run that play. I'm going to do, I'm going to kill the play. Yeah. But you're so right. I think so many of us are good at running the play, but we don't have the right playbook. Mm-hmm. And I love how you said a therapist says, hey, listen, you're good at this. You're good at running the play, but let me give you the playbook. Yeah. Let's you and I sit down together and figure out what is your playbook. Mm-hmm. And, and what playbook do you currently have in play that you don't even know is a playbook that is determining yeah. your outer success You're running something. That, that you've just naturally put into place there. Yeah. I mean, it's and I'm like, whew. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, like if you want to go play against Tom Brady and you show up to play park football, like you go out there and play park football, bro. You're, you're going to play, you're going to be just throwing the ball. Hike, you're running the play, but people are scattering around. Whereas a play, man, it, it dials it in. That's what people are doing. They're out there playing park football against a, a dialed in world of systems. Yeah, man. Some of y'all watching right now and you're saying, Anthony, cool. I, how do I do this? Mm-hmm. And uh, 
I wasn't even thinking about this, but it's like I I, I just felt led to ask that question. Yeah. Um, and some of you all are watching us right now here at the table, and you're saying, "Yo, I want to run, um, um, I want to run a playbook. I want to learn a better playbook." And so, what I'm going to do is I partner with BetterHelp uh, here on the show, and they are, in my opinion. Uh, they provide some of the best therapy services. And so I'm going to drop the information in the show description uh, below. Uh, you can go to anthonyo.com forward slash better help. And I really want to encourage you to to look into this. And I wasn't even going to go there today. I was going to talk about it next week, I think. But I think some of you are not hitting your goals. It's because you're working hard. But are you working efficiently? Mm-hmm. Or, or Do you have the right playbook? And as we're talking today with Anthony Trucks about how do we go, how do we make that shift? Uh, one of the huge parts of making that shift is really taking care of your business and your mind, really getting to deep into understanding why you think the way you think, why you process the way you process. So listen, check out a better help link. They'll give you 10% off for just being a part of my tribe. Um, but this year I'm really, I'm really big, Anthony, on, on therapy, man. Should be. It's a big thing. I, I really Amazing. am. We're in a tough time, man, with all this stuff changing. You know yeah. what the craziest thing is, is is most of the time when things change on people, they're not prepared for it. Like change is no. a very scary thing. It's it's the it's inevitable, but people, you know, growth is optional. Like they they don't yeah. they don't grow with it. And so what you see is a world of unsettled humans. I think for me and for you, when everything in the past is difficult, that I got this board over here, says so poster I love, and it says smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. And Ooh. And so for us, right, and, and other people that have had hardship, the earlier you have it, the more skilled you get. And so when the boat yes. starts rocking and the seas are stormy, like where some people are hunkered down below the deck, holding on to the, the mast and trying to, you know, me and you are up top sipping tea, screaming at the rain, you know, like I got this. And so therapy is that thing that shortcuts that process to understand what we had to take years to figure out. Someone can work through you in a couple, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months, whatever it may be based on your needs. But I agree, man, it's necessary because that is something that that with the world changing, people have to understand how to navigate that and not lose yourself in the world.